Hi, I'm Lou. I'm Nick. And we're going to compare the Trailmaster to the Massimo MB200. We'll also throw in a few references to the Coleman BT200X. Some obvious initial differences are that the Trailmaster has a 10 inch longer wheelbase and longer forks, which put this handlebars about three inches higher. Tested here, this weighs 140 pounds and this one's 160. The Massimo has a standard drum brake like all Coleman mini bikes, but the Trailmaster has an upgraded disc brake which stops a lot faster. One set of foot pegs on the Massimo and two sets on the Trailmaster. They both have rear shocks, but the ride is nowhere near the same. This has a hard and uncomfortable seat and overall rides pretty much like a Coleman. This has an amazingly comfortable seat and overall rides like a dream. We'll take off the seats to look more at the comfort issue. The Trailmaster has a thin bumper in front and two thick in back for a total of six, whereas the Massimo only has two thin in the front and a solid mount in back. Most of your weight back on these hard mount points along with this rock hard foam explain why this seat is so uncomfortable. They have the same size tires, but the Massimo has a more aggressive tread, which is better for muddy trails, and the Trailmaster is better for a smooth ride. The Massimo has this thick gas tank storage area. The Trailmaster has this back storage rack where you can bungee on a cooler or pack. The Massimo has a standard 50 tooth back sprocket like the Coleman, and the Trailmaster has a 46, which gives it a little higher top end speed. This has a totally open mid frame, and this has these decorative metal plates. Looking at weld quality, tubing selection, and overall frame design, I would say both of these bikes are extremely sturdy. Mini bike riders commonly report an uncomfortable vibration in the handlebars. That's because the engine is down here pounding away at 3600 times per minute and is attached directly to the metal frame. Same with Coleman. The Trailmaster solves this problem with rubber engine mounts here and here. Massimo has a standard jack shaft like the Coleman's, but the Trailmaster has a torque converter which gives it a lot more top end speed. I picked Nick not just because he's a wonderful guy, but he weighs about the same as me. As you can see, he's 207.5 with some bricks on his back, which is exactly what I weigh. These are all completely stock, unmodified bikes. Here's Massimo versus Coleman. Yeah. Massimo had slightly better acceleration and a top speed of 28 miles per hour. Coleman trailed at 26 miles per hour. Now Massimo versus Trailmaster. Massimo kept the steady 28 miles per hour and Trailmaster roared ahead at 36. One other small issue with the Massimo seat is that it's tipped slightly backwards, so when you accelerate, you tend to slide back. I've never experienced this problem on a Coleman because it has a dip in the middle and a softer seat. Trailmaster wins again here with a huge dip in the middle and a big lift in back. One glaring point I have to make is that sticker is completely wrong. The Massimo website states that their mini bike has 6.5 horsepower, just like the Coleman's. The Walmart website falsely claims it's 7.5 horsepower, has disc brakes, and a torque converter. All the little features we covered explain why Trailmaster is a much superior bike. These are both good mini bikes for the money. If you're on more of a budget, the Massimo can be a lot of fun. If you've got more money to spend for luxury, the Trailmaster is the better option. If you have any questions or want to learn more, please join our Mini Bike Newbies Facebook group where there are many experienced people that are happy to help. Thanks for watching.